Hey guys. Uh, <clears throat> yes, another Street Fighter Duel video, and um, this one I'm going to talk about the roster situation, um, as well as potential ideas on how you can fix this uh, Capcom slash Crunchyroll. Yesterday's video was just pure anger and hate from me and vitriol and whatnot, and I did say that content creators like myself need to give answers as well as pointing out what's wrong i.e we need to give ideas on how to fix things so i'm going to give you an idea on how to fix things case in point what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the actual roster roster here okay now i get it you've already got a lot of these fighters okay that you see here are already available in the asian version of the game and various other different versions of the game and you make the silly mistake of assuming which makes an ass out of yourself and me and their and the player base that if it works in korea it's gonna work in england no stop it no there's a reason why okay places like sushi restaurants are considered a delicacy kind of thing here in the UK and various other countries. Why? Because, yes, sushi may be a mainstay meal in Japan, but we are England. We are not Japan. So therefore, okay, take that analogy, okay? We are not going to take what another country has willingly taken before. In fact, I'm putting it nicely like this. In my last video, I mentioned how you bent some people over and fist fucked them in the ass. Well, I'm sorry, I'm wearing a fucking chastity belt. I've got a butt plug in my ass, which is preventing you from fist fucking me, Capcom. Okay? By the way, this video is not for children. So, I am looking at the roster here. Okay, and then let's take away the, 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 the BS characters like Dante and Gormangla Ken. Okay, this is the basic roster that is what some idiot thought of. Same as the fashion Sakura and the fashion Blanca. And let's take let, let's and the summer Yang and the flame Chung Li. Let's take all of that stupid shit out because that's from the Asian system. That's from the Asian servers. Okay, let's take that shit out. Okay, I look at this roster. And it's complete and totally fucking mismatched. Okay, yeah. Guy and Cody, they're from Final Fight. Okay. That said, okay. Let's on a hop on over to the lovely world of Photoshop. Okay, what you see here is the Street Fighter Alpha 3, or 0 3, doesn't matter, roster of characters. Now, the ones that are blacked out are characters that are already in the game. Okay, the ones that are not blacked out are questions as to why they're not in the game. Case in point, I'm going to bring it up. Why isn't Charlie in the game? You've got Guile. In fact, you've got two versions of Guile. Okay, where's Charlie? Why isn't Charlie in the game? What, what would Charlie be? Well, obviously, Charlie... Everyone say, well, he'd be wind. Actually, no, Charlie wouldn't. Charlie would be electric. He would be an electric and probably an assassin. Okay? Armika. Love Armika. Armika is... F oh. Armika is my bae. I love Armika. Armika is funny as hell. Her intros are funny as hell. Her story arc, funny as hell. Why isn't she in the game? What would she be? Tank. Clearly, end of wind tank, end of that is what she would be. Okay, now talking, okay, of final fight, uh, 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 we'll get to the final fight section in a second. Okay, so we've talked about, we're talking about, we've we've spoken about Charlie. Okay, so I'm gonna cover him up. In fact, I'm gonna change the color to a green. There we go. So we've talked about Charlie. Okay, so Charlie's been talked about. And we've talked about Armika. Okay, let's talk about Birdie. Okay. Birdie would definitely be a flame tank. End of. He would be a stunner, stunning slash interrupt, very similar to, to Beast Zhang, but he would be for flame. That's what he would be. 
okay? But where's he? He's not in the game, okay? There's Karen. Karen has a story arc uh, where she uses sumo, very similar to e Honda, um, but has a thing against Ken, okay? She wants to challenge Ken Masters. It, that's what that's the story arc is in Street Fighter Alpha. Anyway, she's not in the game. Would I make her a tank? Yes, I would. I would make her a tank, and I would make her. Wouldn't be wind. Wouldn't be fire. Be electric. I would make her an electric tank. Sodden. My boy, Sodom. Dude was amazing in Street Fighter Alpha 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Part of the Mad Gear set, you know? Hugo, Poison, Rulento. They're already in the game. Where the f is Sodom? Why isn't he in the game? Would it not make sense to add one of the most iconic characters from final fight into the game we're getting into the final fight section of the game part here for it it's for a second okay i would add him and i would add karin down here not karen karin a different character i would add oh and sodom definitely wind um balanced fighter wind balanced now I've always played the Japanese version of the game, and she's been always been called Karin. And Karin. Um, she's Maki from um, uh, Final Fight 3. Maki. She has uh, tonfas, uh, which is a, a, a piece of wood uh, with a handle we put here. It's, it's, it's a self-defense martial arts. Um, definitely, definitely... Uh, 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 she needs to be in the game. She needs to be uh, either balanced or support. Okay, to go with Guy and Cody and whatnot. If you can't, if you want, add Hagar. And I mean, I want the Hagar from like Saturday Night Slam Masters, not the Hagar from Final Fight, where he's literally his legs are doing all this, but his torso is stationary. Which makes no fucking sense. Uh, I'm sorry. The animations back in the day for Final Fight were amazing for Co Cody and Guy. But it was like Hagar was like a second afterthought. Please do not add in Hagar from Final Fight. Add in Hagar from Saturday Night Slam Masters. Okay? Because he looked fucking amazing in Saturday Night Slam Masters. You know? So that's how I talked about Hulk. Um, I'm just not a fan of Hulk. Um, he uses, uh, 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 sticks, uh, uh, fighting sticks, very similar to Mr. Big from Art of Fighting, um, and lots of counter, counter balance and counter air, uh, in Street Fighter Alpha, of course. So I would make him either lightning or wind and make him balanced. Now we're gonna get on towards. You, you know, I'm not. Even, I'm. I'm already not even gonna talk about that blonde-haired twat. Sorry, just not. I'm not talking about her. Can't be asked to talk about her. She's annoying, and she's only for the Japanese version of Street Fighter uh, Zero. She's actually a secret character. So this. Is, anyway, long story short, let's get on to my boy Balrog. Ah, oh, I got paid. I love Balrog. Balrog's story arc. Balrog's. Uh, um, entire premise in Japan is called M. Bison because they swapped the final three characters and around Vega is called Balrog and Bison is called Vega and uh, 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 Balrog is called M. Bison they literally went they tried, they moved these names around mostly because um, when they made M. Bi when they made Balrog they planned on naming him after Mike Tyson but Tyson was yeah wanted more money Capcom said no so they quickly changed the name to Balrog um, and but the game had already been coded and almost released in Japan, where his name was M Bison, and said, you know, so they left it like they left it as it was. But it's a it's a common nomenclature that a lot of Street Fighter fans and Street Fighter players know. Where is he? I know he's in the game. I know he's in the Asian version of of, of Street Fighter Duel. I know he is. I've seen videos and screenshots and whatnot. I also know that he's an Infernal. 
Okay, so just add him into the game already. Just, just say, you know what? We're going to add the final four. That's what they're called. That's what Bison, Vega, Sagat, and Borog are called. They're called the final four. Do an event where you fight the final four. Okay, and at the end of the event, you get a Borog. You get a Borog. Okay. That's that's how the events should be done, the release events. Okay. You get a free copy of the fighter at the end of the event. Okay? That's it. You get a free copy at the end of the event or at the beginning of the event. Okay? Might probably do it at the beginning. So at the beginning of the event, you get the free ball rock. Okay? And if you meet certain milestones, okay, like you do 40, 40 million damage, you get another copy of it. Okay? Or if you reach 60 million damage, you get another copy of him. That way you are rewarding the player base for playing your fucking game, Capcom. Anyway, you've already got Borog in the game. Bring bring my brother from another mother into the goddamn game. Borog is is bay. Now, Julie and Junri, um, or Jury, Jury, Junri, wherever you want to call these two. The 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 the, the, the twins, the, the clones of Kame. That technically are a two two for one. What I mean by that is in Street Fighter Alpha 3 story mode, they fight together. They have the same hit point pool. They do team attacks, various other things. <coughs> Bless me. Add them into the game as a mechanic. Add them in as a tag partner for M. Bison. Give them, give them M. Bison, give them to M. Bison as, as an EX move. Okay? And this is another thing. Where is M. Bison's Psycho Cannon? Hmm, Capcom? You've given him Nightmare Booster. And Psycho Crusher. You've given him the, the animation to start doing the Psycho Cannon. And a lot of players are like, what, what's, what's, what's his Psycho Cannon? Okay, in Street Fighter EX, his Psycho Cannon, I'll probably add a clip of it here. His psycho cannon, as you can, it is where he stands stationary, brings his, uh, I believe it's his left hand up, charges his psycho power into like, this huge like kokoshu ball around him, and then he smacks it and throws it at the opponent like a like a projectile. Okay. Now, yes, it's technically a ranged attack. I would love to see that in Street Fighter Duel. If Bison attacks in the second slot, he charges forward and does what's what, what's previously known as his systemic fist or systemic fist, and you got that from Street Fighter versus SNK, in which he hits them once, lifts them up, and then hits them again and knocks them back. You decided to make it so that he picks them up, like it's a throw, and then hits them a couple of times and pulls his hand hand out their body. Okay. Well, you could use that animation or contact your animators, Capcom, Crunchyroll, and give M. Bison a different set of a different set of of, of, of attacks. Okay, because that <laughs> it is it, like an old man trying to masturbate. You know, it's like what the fuck? I mean. Where's his head stomp? M. Bison was known for his head stomp. M. Bison was known for his teleports. You've had the teleports in the game. That's what that's what the whole bop, 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 AOE big smash thing is that he does. Um, and whatnot at the end of his uh, uh, third combo counter when he does the Psycho Crusher. Um, but in every iteration of Street Fighter... That M. Bison has ever been in. He's always had his psycho cannon. Case in point, Street Fighter. Uh, 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 Street, yeah, no, wait. In Street Fighter Alpha, he had his Nightmare Mirror, which you called Nightmare Booster, which is not true. It's Nightmare Mirror. Um, psycho cannon. And. He's got one more. Why am I drawing a blank? So we've got. Nightmare booster. Down forward, down forward. 
two two kicks. Drawing a blank. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Nightmare, blue, uh, nightmare mirror. Yeah. Two punch. Psycho cannon. Uh, no, um, psycho crusher. Down back. Forward, down, back, forward, down, back, up, punch, two punch. Uh, that's the head stomp into Psycho Fist. Yeah, it's, um, see, I literally have to play, do the maneuvers in my head. Um, so you've got down, four, down, four, two kicks is his nightmare, uh, 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 what they call nightmare boost, but it's actually nightmare narrow. you got... Back for two seconds, forward, back, forward, two punches is his Psycho Cannon, uh, uh, Psycho uh, uh, psycho Crusher. Um, then you got down, back for two seconds, forward, forward down, forward. It's it's the same controller maneuver as Guile's uh, um, um, triple somersault. Um, and then up to a uh, 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 two punch, and Bison jumps up into the air as if he's going to do a head stomp. But then stops, flips back, and then does a psycho cannon fist thing in the sky. That was a re his original iteration of psycho cannon. Um, and then in Street Fighter EX plus Alpha, they made his uh, psycho cannon stationary, where he just stands there, holds it, and charges it, and then throws it. Um, so he's always had his psycho cannon, but it's not in the game. Um, you've added Akuma's um, Havoc. Uh, uh, you've added Akuma's Mahatsuko Soyu. Which is his three dragon punch. You've added his uh, 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 his variant of the, of the Shinku Hadouken, uh, the Gohoyus, uh, the Gohotsu Mahosoyu. I'm just I'm killing these pronunciations. I do apologize. In which it's um, forward to back, forward to back, three punch, where he stands there and does his Hadouken charge. Um, but you haven't added his air Hadoukens, which is what Akuma is known for. His midair Mahatsu uh, uh, Shoku, which is he just stands and just throws fucking fireballs in the air. Where's that? That's not in the game. Where is his Mahatsu Sosoyu, where he literally stands there, teleports, lands, and literally does an executing blow on the back of someone's neck? That's not in the game. There are several moves that are missing from the game, but a new mechanic which you can easily add into the game is Junior and Jury. Consider it one fighter, but two animation sets. Okay, I used to do Mujin fighting character, fighting character. Okay, and I made a Junior and Jury. Okay, but I made the Marvel vs. Capcom style, which means they had the ability to knock, knock you up in the air and literally do like a 40 plus hit mid-air combo. You know, but at the same time, if you hit one, both took the damage, if that made sense. You could add them in, you could add them into the game. And you could even add them in as, like, again, make an Infernal and a Masters, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, give me a second. Uh, uh, Supreme Fist, okay? Right here. Add a Masters, add an Infernal. Okay? Add them in, okay? And at each, like, I don't know, 100 floors, okay, you get a boss, you know? Where at the end of it, you get a copy of that fucking card. So you get a Vega, you get a Bite and then Bison, you get a Sega, you get a Bullrog. Or you get a, 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 a Kame. Uh, not, a, um, you get a, a, you, you get what I'm saying. You get a, you get, that way it makes fucking sense. To have to, to for players to play these towers, as you can see, I'm actually quite pseudo high level in these towers, you know. And I enjoy playing the Supreme Fist part of the game. I do. I love the background. I want this background as a wallpaper with with the final four. I do. I want that as a background. That's freaking awesome. I love. It. I, I, the, I've been a Street Fighter fan since I played Street Fighter One in the arcades. Yes, not Street Fighter Two. Street Fighter One. In the arcades and I've played Street Fighter 2 or just Street Fighter in general on every freaking console you can think of and I mean that raging down to the Philips CDI yes the Philips CDI 
Okay, Google that shit. And yes, there was a copy of Street Super Street Fighter Super Street Fighter 2 for the Philips CDI. I owned it. I played it. Now, let me get back to other characters that are missing in your roster and how to fix them. So we've done the Junior Jury thing. Okay. What I would do is I would quite literally make them a duo team. So it's two fighters in one. You could do it for Ken and Ryu. You know, you could do duo teams where you where you get two fighters for the for, for one slot. So you got Ken, you got Ryu. Okay. You know how you got the linking thing where you can take a legendary fighter, link it to another one, and he he, he becomes a copy of its its attack and whatnot. Why not offer that for for your hero characters? Ryu is the iconic character. That's like taking Mario from from Nintendo and cucking him. Okay, when you think Street Fighter, okay, who's the first thing person you think of? Ryu, Ken. You've made such a mistake by taking your iconic characters and making them completely cucked. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. This is the Street Fighter 3 roster. Okay. Are you starting to see a problem here? Okay. Where's Sheen? Where's Alex? Where's 12? Where's Urin? Where's Necro? Where's Q? Where's Ro uh, uh, Remy? Where, where's Otto? Want ideas? Here's one for you. Necro. Electric. Duh. Answers itself. Why? Because he uses electricity in his attacks. Sheen. Again. You could easily add Sheen into the game. Make him a make him a um, okay. Ryu's energy, Ken's fire. Yeah, make him wind. Alex, no question. Tank, easy tank. Make him a bloody tank and make him make him like a fire tank or a, or, or or an energy tank. No wind. Make him a wind tank. There you go. Make him a wind tank. Who specializes in counter grapples. Speaks for itself. Um, 12, easy. You can make him a master. Why? Because he shapeshifts. There you go. One of his abilities. Turn invisible for X amount of seconds. Which means he's immune to all damage for X amount of seconds. Why? Because you can't fucking see him. So you can't hit him. But he can hit you. Make sense? Literally speaks for itself. Q, no contest. Tank. Tank. Why? Because that's what he is. Taunt three times. You see how the fact that he gets a 60% damage reduction. Little secret for you there. If you ever let Q taunt both player or AI taunt you three times in the same rat in the same round, he gets a he gets an he gets a passive that gives him 60% damage reduction. So he sounds and goes, ur, ur, ur. So you're like, good luck. Good luck trying to kill him in one combo. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. He's not in the game. Reme. Easy. Wind. Easy. Wind. Wind assassin. Or wind balance. Urin. <laughs> Easy. Inferno. No, master. Because he hates his brother. And his brother would definitely be Inferno. So, there you go. Master, make make him a make him a master, and and you've got the bullet wall mechanic in the game, so that would definitely that, that's a given for one of his alphas. You know, simple bullet wall, you know, in front of everyone, so that you know for next six six. Heck, E Honda has that. E Honda has that as his vehicle bonus. You know, so have, give give him that as an alpha. Give him that as an alpha. He stands there. Whoa, he's got a, 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 a barrier up. That if they if the enemy attacks they take damage or or if they throw a projectile it absorbs the projectile. There you go. Um, that that that's self-explanatory. 
um, Oro, uh, 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 the one over here, Oro. Um, what would he be? See, I always thought Oro was evil, but he's actually not. He's, he's actually a kind, kind-hearted soul. Um, if you actually more know about his background, when I first originally saw the Japanese screenshots of Oro, I thought, is that what happened to Akuma? Because Akuma wasn't mentioned in Street Fighter Three. I was like, is that what happened to him? You know, dark and dank and gloomy cave. You know, no. It turns out he's actually quite kind and nice. You know, um, but he uses telekinesis, so. You know, so he throws things at you, stuff like that. Um, he, he's very Blanca meets Delsim. Um, it's the best way to describe it. Um, so treat him as such. You know? Um, what element would he be? Oh. Wind, but don't give him wind abilities. Give him electric abilities. There you go. Um, so that pretty much sums it up, Capcom. This video pretty much sums up why another again why I won't play your game. Your roster is shit. Just because your roster works in the Asian market or in I don't know wherever doesn't mean it work. It's going to work in 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 Europe or, or the world or wherever. Okay, it's or global. It's just not. Okay, and here's another thing. You want to cut down on your overheads? Stop having three separate versions of the game. Okay, that's not going to help you. You're better off just merging all three versions of the game into just one. Okay, that will cut down on your overheads, that will cut down on a whole bunch of other stuff, and it will actually increase your profits. Another thing also. Like I said, reduce your re reduce your overall uh, uh, shop prices, and I mean this: reduce your overall shop prices by fifty percent. And I don't just mean gems and what like, like for gems and whatnot. I mean just overall. And you are going to see a lot more people come back to the game, play the game, have more fun with the game. Also, if you've got no true events planned. Stop literally facelifting old events that you think players play. Okay, 3, 000, 300 tickets for an Elena? No, not worth it. 300 tickets for a Fei Long? <laughs> not worth it. Fei Long is one of the most shittiest flame fighters in existence. I know I have him. Not even joking. Fighter. Flame. Fei Long. Okay, and I don't... See? 20... Friggin' 20 on his on his on his nunchucks. And I don't even use him in my main lineup. He always ends up in support. That's it. Yet his ability, ironically, is the same as Flame Chung Lee's and and pretty much uh, uh, Fashion Blanca, which is uh takes effect when he's in assist position. As long as he, his fist f survives, all enemies take 12% more flame and burn damage. Okay, that's great and all, but you don't explain what that means as long as he survives what until the end of the fight or as long as he's alive because if it's as long as he's alive as, as the person he's linked to is alive shouldn't there be like a, 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 a something on the screen and that's another thing you expect us to all memorize what these little logos mean okay no we're not so why don't you, okay, and I'll, I'll even be nice here, okay, so why don't you do do this? Why don't, why don't during the fight, okay, excuse me, no, I'm going to get my ass handed to me, but, you know what, here, I'll even, I'll even show you. There we go, we'll even add him, we'll even add him, all right? Let me change my lineup. And this is another thing, why don't you remember our lineups. Why do we have to keep going back in and rearranging our lineups every goddamn time? Okay, if you know for a fact that 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 we only use Lana for healing, okay, why even bother to think about putting her in the combo two slot? It's just annoying. Okay. That's another little tip bit for you, okay? So right here. Why don't, over here on this side, you list, say, uh, um, Beast Zhang has stunned, you know, 
Zangief for dirt, and the seconds are ticking down. You know, have a little mini damage log. There you go, damage log. Have a little mini, mini, mini buff slash damage log on the side here, so that players can actually see it. Because you got to understand, it. I'm playing this on an emulator. If this is meant to be played on a phone like this, okay. If it's meant to be played on a phone, one second. Like this, okay? How the fuck am I supposed to see those tiny ass equal icons? Come on, think! Would it not be? Would it not make sense to have a damage log? You list how much damage is done, but wouldn't it make sense to have a little little thing on the side saying, you know, buff, but you know, buff, debuff, da 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 da, on the side there. Wouldn't it not make sense? Okay, this fight's not going to last. This fight's going to be over in like two seconds. The moment those two, the moment that the, the two guys start letting off. Okay. So duh, 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 there you go. Strike! Oh, everyone's health has gone to zero. Strike! Everyone's health, health is now dead. There you go. Dead, 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 dead. Okay, can you heal? Can you heal? Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Strike! There you go. See, now all of a sudden she's doing nothing for damage. See? Something's clearly. See? Boom. All dead. Dead, 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 dead. Like an instant second. Nothing was said. Nothing. So clearly a buff triggered on them, but you can't see it. There is zero interaction between the fight. Zero. None. Okay? So. If you're not explaining to your player base what fucking happened, your players aren't going to play the fucking game anymore. Okay? We're not idiots. We're not simpletons. Okay? And for those who keep asking me, I'm 27 million. Okay? I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm currently at 28-28. But isn't it amazing how when you saw her first strike, bop, 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 you saw that damage done to that guile? Second time around, nothing, 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 nothing. But literally, it, it, it's, it's like being slapped in the face with a fish. You don't explain anything. Your HUD does not explain anything anything there's no freaking there, there's no feedback you want feedback from us players okay fine we want feedback from the fucking game when i'm playing games like world of tanks what's down the lower right corner a hit log a damage log damage blocked damage done damage this damage that you get relative real-time info and that's exactly what we need we need relative Real-time info. Okay? And I know you can do it. It's just, I don't want to have to be that asshole that takes your APK, cracks that fucking thing open like it's a freaking kinder surprise. Yeah? Pulls, pull your, your spaghetti code out. Find the right relative freaking markers and make myself a mod modded APK so that I get to see it and no one else does. And I know how to do that. It's not hard. I I, I, I have PyCharm, I have Visual Basics, I have a few other a few other programs. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Do I wanna do that? No. Because that's gonna take me at least a week. Of doing that. And then testing it. Iterating it. Make sure I don't trigger any kind of hidden anti-cheat. Things of that nature. At least there better be some kind of fucking hidden anti-cheat. If you, if you dig what I'm saying Capcom. I don't want to have to do that. I don't. I don't want to start making mods and plugins. For APKs. That make your game better. And you still haven't figured out the, 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 the bug where icons just randomly start wigging out. You still haven't fixed that. You've acknowledged the issue. You talked about it on Twitter and Discord. 
be where's the fix i'm still seeing it see this is this this is your problem okay you're taking you're like that one idiot in, in the, and we all know that we all know this idiot you're like that one idiot that shows up to, to a computer computer programming course who thinks that he knows how how, how to, to peruse github and codes and, and snippets and stuff and just take other people's code mash it together and pray that it works or worse goes to chat gpt and types in code for me <laughs> enter and then cries as to where well, you know work because you got to put the fucking work in yourself all right this is just my feedback this is just my two cents okay and it is this is just my two cents you can take it you can leave it you can tell me to go fuck myself it's all good but what i'm saying to you is, is what i've given you okay what i have given you okay is truthful, honest feedback. Why are certain fighters missing from the game? Why did you choose to, to have Guy as Triple S over the, 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 the original Cody? You added Mayor Cody. The fuck? Whatever. Where's Hagar? Where's Sodom? Where's Abigail? Capcom, come on, you gotta start sticking up for yourself. I I, I can't keep being your stepdaddy, alright? You gotta start sticking up for yourself, son. You gotta start putting your fists up and saying the crunchy roll. No. We want this, we want this, we want this. It's your IP. If you say the crunchy roll at any given time, fuck you and pull your IP back, they're fucked. You have all the power here, Capcom. You do. But this game is killing your fan base. I'm not even joking. I, I even have fucking Street Fighter 6 waiting and raring to go in my Steam library. Okay? Come on. Come on, Steam. Come on, Steam. You know, there we go. There we go. I've got to figure out what's going on with my system. I know it's not a hardware issue. It's a software issue. I might have to redo my OS. And if I do, I do. Okay? I I legit have Street Fighter 6 raring and waiting to go. I don't care about Smite. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay, close that. Okay, if I go to my library, okay, I I have Street Fighter Six. There you go, I have it waiting to go. See, in queue. It's waiting to be downloaded. Do not make me cancel this purchase. Please do not make me cancel this purchase, Capcom. You need to understand this. Okay? I mean it. I've been a loyal fan of Capcom since I was... Fuck. Nine, ten years old. I mean it. I'm 43 now. This shit is making me want to walk away. Because it's just blatant cash grab after cash grab. And it needs to stop. Deuces.